Welcome to the Phoenix Network. This is Gene Kernan, and today we have the pleasure of broadcasting from Athena's Window Fashions here in Gilbert. And I have the honor of introducing John and Athena Hatch of Athena's Window Fashions. John, Athena, how you doing? Good, Good. thanks. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. <laughs> Welcome to the show. So, the way we usually do this is we get into a little bit about who are you rather than you know the business yet mm. this is more of a public relations thing as i explained to athena it's about getting people to want to do business with you guys when they're ready to have window fashions done mm -hmm. okay instead of oh we've got to do something with this room look somebody up we want them to think call athena's that right? would be good now, is, if I understand it correctly, if I remember correctly from the conversation we had just the other day, basically your family goes back far enough in Arizona that the Colorado River was a creek. Sorry. <laughs> I'm yeah. fourth generation. Fourth generation, Mesa okay. Girl. Okay. Yeah. And what brought your parents here? The, um, my father's grandparents came with the early settlement okay. to settle Mesa. Okay. So did they come from Utah or from back yes. east? Okay. All, mm -hmm. right. All right. And John, how about you? Are you an Arizona native? or? My uh, family is deep in Arizona. I am actually uh, was born in Parker, Arizona. Oh, okay. And uh, I'm a fourth generation as well. My, my line comes through um, Taylor. Okay. So that's where my family started out. Snowflake. Yeah, I've got, I, I think I told Athena that the fellow that works on my motorcycle, his family goes back to 1850 Douglas. Wow. Yeah. And so when people tell me that, you know, you've been here long enough, you're practically a native, practically. I have to kind of weigh that. You know, <laughs> yeah. you know, because, I mean, I've been here since 76, so I am you've pretty been Arizona. Here a long time. You know. But so what brought them here? Was it just adventure or no they were pioneers, they were pioneers? Yep, yeah they were sent here from uh, utah just like athena's yep. were and uh sent to settle that part of arizona and uh my granddad moved from there during the great depression and moved to the phoenix area so this is uh, uh where he raised his family was in phoenix yeah and you know i i, I bet there's a lot of stories that go back through the families of you know, different true adventures is probably the most benign word to, to <laughs> give it. You know, I'm sure there were some entertaining moments. So, you guys are are longtime Arizonas. I mean, you know, fourth generation both. How is it that two members of longtime pioneer families get into window dressings? How does that happen? <laughs> Tell us about that. Well, I'm in it because of her. <laughs> I kind of figured that from the name, John. Yes, that's right. <laughs> when I was um, in high school, I took a lot of sewing classes. I learned to sew when I was really young. Mm -hmm. And then when I graduated from high school, I was looking for my first real job. And I landed in a drapery workroom where I learned the business of making the draperies. Mm -hmm. And I worked there for a few years. And then we ended up getting married. And um, when after I had my first child, I quit and decided to be a stay-at-home mom. And so that lasted for a little hmm. while. And um, I started doing drapes on the side for people, and it mm -hmm. just ended up growing into a business. And now you guys have been in business now as Athena's Window Fashions for, is it 36 years now? Since eighty three? We got yes, we got our business license in nineteen eighty three. Wow. That's pretty fascinating. I actually did some drapery mechanics work uh, when I first got here in, in seventy six. During the summer of seventy six I worked up I, I worked and lived up in Pine Top. There's a fellow up there that owned a, a flooring and drapery store called George Olaf Wasley. <laughs> and he had the contracts for all of the Whiting Brothers hotels or motels okay. and everything. And so when they needed new carpet, when they needed new drapes, it, they he would be the one they'd call and we would be the ones he'd send. And so I actually learned how to make drapes do what they're supposed to do when you pull the little cord. There you go. You know, and you know, from, for uh, most guys, right? you can relate to this, John, most men, we don't think about 
the fact of you know what has to go into making that drape open and close That's when you true. pull the cord. But it's quite the mechanical process. It is, and it took me a while to learn. Yeah. And things have been changing over the years. Nowadays, uh, most people uh, don't choose rods that actually have cords. That's a smaller percentage. That was like 100% of the market when we were first started. Mm -hmm. If you're doing draperies, they had pull cords. But nowadays, a lot of people are choosing fancier looking rods that you just pull by hand or that are motorized. Mm -hmm. They seem to, that seems to be a more modern take on things. Yeah, the motorized, I, I think they have their, their benefits. But the fact is that I, I want to, I want to feel the t I want the touch. Oh, you like you like pulling on the drapes? Yeah, I do. Tell us more about some of the jobs that you've done with this, Athena. Oh, we've done all kinds of jobs, but most of what we do is our bread and butter is residential. Okay. Um, we do medium size to high end homes. We did get the opportunity last year to do a high rise in California, Beverly Hills. Wow. That was pretty fun. I um, bet. We've done some That's quite commercial. a crew as well. Yeah. Yeah. We've done some commercial restaurants, a uh, Hampton Inn hotel, um, projects like that. What would you say, John? Yes, most of our work is primarily people that just walk in the door and say, I'm looking for something on my windows. What can you show me? Mm -hmm. So uh, we do some of the fancier jobs and we do some real high tech stuff, but most of the bread and butter work right here in Gilbert, it's just people's homes, just whatever they would like to put on their windows, make them look pretty. So I guess I don't really have to be have any trepidation about asking you just how far you're willing to go to do oh. a job. <laughs> no. If they're We've willing been, to pay, yeah. we're willing to go. That's gonna, right. yeah, quite but true. we like the East Valley. Yeah, I, I told you that I that I you know promote the show ahead of time on in, in different groups on in the social pl uh -huh. platforms, Facebook and all. And so as I was sharing it to El Mirage today, I was thinking, okay, do I really want to share it to El Mirage? Are they willing to go that far? No, that's basically East LA. So, <laughs> and that does not bother us. Yeah. That's as long as, and and that's actually what I thought almost verbatim. If 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 they if they've got the money, you you've got the we'll time. We'll take care of we'll them. We'll make it work. Yeah. We've been to Utah. We've done houses in Washington State, and we've been all over the place. So we we'll travel. That's actually very cool. What else can you tell us about? The drapery world, the window fashions world. Is there some little nuance that most people wouldn't know? Well, the window coverings industry is changing very quickly. Okay. And um, it used to be that there were more places that had their own workrooms. But now it's pretty unique to have your own workroom where you actually make it. Most places have to send it out somewhere. Yeah. Um, colors change rapidly. Um, Oh, computers are really messed up colors, haven't they? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, 256 million colors? Not come on, seriously. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. Most of the when we first started this business, uh, they would project colors to last for five to six years, and over time that has actually shrunk. So now colors come and they go rather quickly. Mm -hmm. Sometimes just a matter of months. So I can walk into a house and I'll say, oh, that was done in 1978 or that was done in, you know, the early part of this year because that color was really hot then. So you can kind of, mm -hmm. if it's a really trendy color, those things tend to stay less long now than they used to. They used to they're quick now. Yeah, so I, I recognize that from refrigerators and kitchens. That's right. Appliances and kitchens. You okay. still have avocado it, up in yours? No. <laughs> okay. No, but I, but I did. You know? <laughs> I, I used to have avocado, and and you know some of the just like the the, the actual four inch tiles in the countertop. Sure. That's 60s, 70s. You know, mm. maybe even late 50s, depending on where you are in the country. And so I, you don't notice those kinds of things growing up, but then you start seeing and it's like, oh, I remember, that's just like my mom's house, which was built in, and you that's start right. just you're putting the two and two together. It's really true. And draperies are a lot like that. You can look at it, Athena and I can walk into a house and look at a drapery and we'll say, oh, sometimes we'll even know who did it because it's a, it's a very 
you know unique look and mm-hmm. so uh it's very interesting to be in the business as long as we have to be able to look at that and say well i know when that color was in and this is what you would like now it'll be a little bit different shade of that and it'll look a little different with the colors that it's paired with but you know the people that bought that color back then if they kept it this long that means they really like that color yeah so so they want that to we'll be the find base something for their like that in a similar palette that, and kind of freshen it up a little bit for them and change styles a little and it'll be updated yeah. see this is why I like to do things doing it the way we do it is because first of all they get to know you, mm-hmm. you know, and, and to understand you know why they might want to call you and then we get into the details of how it is you do what you do and just these little pointers these little tidbits of how the business works and how much you know about how intimately you know the business that's important to be that's the kind of thing that connects with people on a level it's 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 visceral that it's it's not even something that they can really explain it's just like no that's where i want to go and this is why well, you touched on this a few minutes ago. You said that you were very um, picky about your draperies, and you mentioned something that you kind of passed over, and that is you like to feel the fabric. You like mm-hmm. to feel the drapes. And many people are like that. They're tactile. They like to feel certain types of fabric, and mm-hmm. they'll touch the fabric. And if they walk in here and they look through books and they're touching each one, that's the kind of person they are. Yeah. And then some people will walk in and they'll say, I like the look of blue. And they're always talking about how things look and how they, then you, that's a person that learns through their eyes rather than touch. Mm-hmm. And so we get to kind of know the people just by the way they walk in and look at things. And it's very interesting. Athena can sit down with a client in a few minutes and they'll say, well, I kind of was thinking this and that. And she'll sketch out for them what they're thinking in their heads because she's been doing it so long. She can catch all the clues and she knows what they might like. And, so. that, and that's very much. Yes? Do they have any specials? I was going to get to that. <laughs> Do you do weddings? We don't do weddings, <laughs> but we um, we sell several major um, brands of blinds and shutters. Mm-hmm. Hunter Douglas is one of our big suppliers, and they have promotions going each quarter. Currently, we have a promotion going with Hunter Douglas that gives you a um, hundred dollar rebate per two blinds or something. Yeah. of that nature that comes back from Hunter Douglas. On our um, other products, we we generally give a 20% discount on the fabrics. I like to go and take the fabrics into the home mm-hmm. and lay it out and hold it up at the windows, let them see it in the home. We enjoy people coming into the showroom as well, but... Um, There's the, nothing like the demonstration. Yes, in the, the final decision yeah. needs to be in the home with the fabric held up, with their lighting, their furniture, and me measuring the window to make sure what we're designing is going to be. And so if somebody calls you and says, or stops in and says, well, we heard you on the Phoenix Network, or we saw Mm -hmm. your video on the video channel on the Phoenix Network, then you will give them an appropriate special? Sure. Okay. And we'll figure out what that is. Sure. But that way... If, if I get somebody coming in and saying, hey, you, we came here because of, then... We would like to know. Yes. Thank you. That'll Good job. <laughs> we, we would like to know. Excellent. Yeah. And, and I and, would too. And we would be happy to pass along so, a discount. S- speaking of which, phone number. The best phone number to reach us at is 480-814-0001. And your hours are... Nine to five, Monday through Friday. So they're not open today. They're doing this special for you, folks. Okay. We will do week. We will do Saturday and evenings by appointment. Right. But the showroom hours are just. Okay, and your website. Athena'sWindows.com. See how easy it is. Some people come up with all sorts of confusing names. You know, some sorts of description. Athena'sWindows.com is where you find Athena's Windows Fashion. I do have a Facebook page. Facebook page. Are you on LinkedIn? Um, no. Okay. Twitter? Any Mm. others? What's your address? What's your Facebook page? Athena's Window Fashions. Athena's Window Fashions. Address? The address here is 690 East Warner Road, 
Suite 155, Gilbert, Arizona, 85295. Nope, that's 296. <laughs> I don't know my own address. Well, you don't have to know your own address. You come here every day. It's like people say, well, what's your phone number? It's like, I don't call myself. Yeah, well, yeah, I, I don't call myself, and I should. So that's about it. Athena's Window Fashions, 690 East Warner, Suite 155 in Gilbert, 85295. Six. Six. See, now he had me doing it too, 85296. <laughs> Athenaswindows.com, Facebook.com slash Athena's Window Fashions. Am I correct on all that? Sounds good to me. It's been excellent having you on the show, Athena. Thank you. Thank you so much. John, nice to meet you. Unexpected pleasure. Oh, well, we good. Go. Well, she didn't tell me you were. Ma she was making you do this. Well, <laughs> she so. didn't tell me either, so it's a surprise <laughs> to us both. Sit down, shut up, hold on. Right? So, but again, thank you so much. Thank you. This has been the Phoenix Network coming to you from Athena's Window Fashions in Gilbert with Athena and John Hatch telling their story of a pioneer life getting into window fashions. Mm -hmm.